on to another low budget stuffing. Last week I was not able to make a video, but on the positive note, I am going to be rescuing a Schnauzer Mix puppy. I pick him up this Sunday. So last week I couldn't make a video because I had to unfortunately dig into my envelopes and take some cash out. The process was kind of quicker than I anticipated of the deposit for him and picking him up. So that just kind of shows you the things that are not expected that can happen in your life, why it's good to have emergency funds. And even if that's not considered an emergency, but you understand what I mean, you know, having things saved to the side of what you may want in the future. So it's still a learning process for me. So let's get started. So today we are stuffing a total of $440, $95 in our cash envelopes and $345 in our sinking funds. So this is my mini A7 binder that I got from Etsy. I will be listing the seller in my description box. She was so friendly. She communicated with me and did everything that I had wanted for these envelopes. And she also included some freebies. So I will definitely be ordering from her in the future because there are some more envelopes that I need to incorporate in my binder. Now, I love the small size of this compared to a savings funds A6 binder because this can realistically fit in my purse for me to carry around since these are the things that I will be digging into when I shop. So the big difference with these are this just opens up. There is no zipper in it and in the back you can see it. So she offers different colors. She also gave me a coin pouch, which was awesome. And she also gave me a bill counter. So a bill tracker, I guess it's called. That when you wanna to go to the bank, at least you know what bills to take out according to how you budget. So if I need $200 bills, 50s, etc. So it was definitely very nice of her and I highly, highly, highly recommend her Etsy. So let's get started with the cash envelopes. So for spending, I am getting $20. Okay, groceries is getting 50. So 20, 40, 45, 50. Okay, Beauty's getting 25. Definitely going to be using this to remove my tips since I did lose one. And I like to get a gel manicure when the summer comes around because I do go to the beach a lot and I hate to get dirt underneath my nails and I just like a nice natural look. And so for my dog, I have $200 more that I have to pay for his deposit. And when I had ordered these, it took about three weeks to come in, so I didn't know I was getting a dog at that time. So I will be ordering a A7 size envelope for him because I do want to have money every day in case I find some food for him or treats or things like that. So I will be using the fun envelope for the rest of his deposit for the time being. So it's $200. And that's all for the cash envelopes. We're going to move on to the sinking funds. So as I mentioned, I'm basically starting from scratch. So savings is getting $20. It's really sad to see when money disappears, but you can't give up your discipline and motivation for saving money. $20. Christmas events and travel is getting nothing for this week. Hopefully next week we can stuff them. So gifts is getting $50 since Father's Day is coming up. 20, 40, 45. 50. Okay, so for our savings challenge, I was able to get the envelope from Jenny, which is Pink X Budgets on YouTube and also Etsy. And it's really cool because she has different options. So you can save $5,000 in either 50 two weeks or 26 weeks, depending on how often you get paid and how much you get paid. Or you can do a $2,000 savings challenge with the same amount of weeks, 26 or 52. So I have the 52 weeks of $5,000. So even though I'm starting in June, I'm going to try and make up for the rest of the time. But if I can, at least half of the year is about $2,500 and you could just reuse this for the following year again. And you can use a Sharpie and it'll just 
wash off if you use like some alcohol or something. So I already X'd out the first week of June is $75. 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars. So I put $400 because I know that I have $400 in the dog envelope. And the loan is getting no money this week, but I do have money from last week, so I'm just going to count it. $40, so at least I know for next week how much I have left in the loan envelope. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I hope it inspires you, gives you motivation. Don't give up if you have to go into your envelopes. Things happen in life, but we just keep that discipline and keep on going. And even if you save five, ten dollars it goes a long way as time progresses. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.